This is the CNP Pro for the IPv6 peering project. You can visit us online at reddit.com slash r slash IPv6 peering project. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to enable BGP with a peer you've already tunneled with. So let's take a look at the wiki and the current BGP information. As you can see here, in this example, I have a BGP address of 65002 and I'll be advertising the network FD0002-48. In this video, I'll be peering with Andachi, who has a BGP address of 65006, and he's already set up his end for us today. So let's get started on the Cisco router. All right, first things first, let's do a configured terminal. And let's do interface F01. Now this is going to be the interface that's going to have your subnet range on it. You can also use a loopback address. I just happen to use an actual interface here. First thing we're going to do is a no shut. Make sure it's not turning off. We're going to know a no IP address. Make sure there's no IPv4 address on there. And next we're going to do an IPv6 address of FD00021 or whatever your address range you claimed is. Lastly, we'll do an IPv6 enable, make sure we have a nice link local address. And let's exit out of that. So that takes care of creating our new network. So let's get BGP going. We're going to want to do this in the configure terminal command. So let's do router BGP and then your BGP number. In this case, it's 65002. We're going to do no BGP default IPv4 unicast, which is telling BGP that it's not going to pass any IPv4 traffic through these uh, ranges. Next, we're going to do our neighbor. So we're going to do neighbor FE80 62. That's in Achi's link local address that you can see in the wiki here and then we're going to do a remote AS65006 which is his BGP number after that we're going to do a neighbor FE8062 update source tunnel 4 now this is going to be the tunnel that you created with that peer earlier. Letting it know that that's how it gets through. Alright, let's do address family IPv6. And let's do neighbor FE8062 activate. That's going to tell BGP that we want to share our network with this peer over IPv6. And the next, let's do a neighbor FE8062 route map map 6 out. Now it's saying we want neighbor FE8062, that's Andachi's neighbor, to use the route map map 6, which we're going to create shortly. And we want to use it on the outlying connections. And finally, we're going to do network FD0002. 48 or whatever you assigned your network to. So let's exit out of address family now that we're done with that. And let's create this route map map 6. So we're going to do IPv6 prefix list prefix 6. This is a customizable number. You can change this to whatever you'd like. I'm just using prefix 6 to keep track of everything. We'll do sequence 5 permit everything LE128 route map map 6 permit 10 so what we're doing here is creating that new route map now that we've created a prefix list for that route map and we're going to do a match IPv6 address prefix list prefix 6. Now this is the prefix list we just created right here. And let's go ahead and set IPv6 next hop FD00021 which is 
all the way back up here when we created that first interface IP address. And that's why we had to end up doing that. Now this isn't needed for Cisco to Cisco connections, but it is needed for Cisco to Linux and Cisco to others when you're BGP. So it's good to always put it on every new BGP connection because it doesn't hurt and it ends up just complying with the RFC. So let's go ahead and exit after all that's done. Let's do a write. Make sure we save all our changes here and we're done. All right, let's show BGP IPv6 unicast summary. That'll show us if we have a connection. Looks like we have a connection up to FE86.2, AS number 65006, table version, uptime, and state prefix. Now, if it says active, that means something's missing. So you're going to have to go back in your config and see what's changed. And the last command we're going to do is show IPv6 route BGP. And what that's going to do is show all the learned BGP routes for IPv6. Now I have a lot here, but if you look, you can find FD0006 tunnel 4. That's the one we're learning from Anachi. I hope this helps you in your IPv6 peering project. Thank you.